All right, welcome in to Market Day Report. I am Scott Shelley, otherwise known as the Cow Guy. Let's take a look at what these uh, markets are doing as we go into the top of the noon hour here, Central Time, 1 o'clock Eastern. All right, let's take a look and see what corn's got in store for us. It was up 2 to 3 cents the last time we were there. And guess what, folks? Either my screen's broken or it's still the same price as it was the last time we checked about a half hour ago. Let's take a look at SEP corn. That's uh, up 2 and a quarter cents to 483 even. Again, we're about 3 cents off the lows. And we've had about, what, a 13 cent range? So if I tell you three cents off the lows of a 13 cent range, you pretty much can deduce what, uh, what's been happening over there. Uh, Dees, the new crop, that's up two and three quarter cents, 4.96 and a quarter, three and a quarter cents off the lows. We're well below five bucks. That's the bummer here. We're still higher on the day. That's the better one, but still another 13, uh, yeah, 13 cent range there as well. Uh, and we're about three and a quarter cents off the lows. So that's gonna give you an idea about what's going on. Now, let's take a look at this. So I mean, it's been about 10 higher, you know, across the board, except for SEP. That's been the laggard. And that was only up about seven cents the last time we checked. 13.89 even is last there. And we've had about a 21 cent range as well. Uh, we're in the middle of it. How about that? We've got the Nov beans up 11 cents. That's good, right? 13.36 and a quarter. And again, that's 14 cents from the lows and about nine cents from the highs. That'll give you an idea about where we sit there. That's soybeans. Now let's move over to Chicago wheat. That's higher, but not by much. Four cents now. Steps up four and a half cents to six thirty-one and a half, and again we've had a decent range. We had some fireworks overnight, right? So we've had a twenty-six cent range, and we're about three or four cents from the lows. All right, that, that's the picture you want to be painted. Four cents higher in the D's, the six fifty-nine, four cents off the lows there, and another twenty-six cent range. Just to give you a clue, that's Chicago wheat. Let's move over to the wheat in Kansas City. What's that look like? Well, we're lower there, 12 and a half cents lower in the hard red. Uh, 7.55 is last, and ladies and gentlemen, that's a new low, and that's, uh, what, 30 cents from the highs? Ouch. Deese is down 12 and a half cents as well, the 7.69 and a half, a tick off the lows, and again, around 30 cents from the highs. That's, uh, that's no good. Let's take a look and see what we've got going on in the spring wheat then in Minneapolis. Five cents lower there in that subcontract, 8.28 and a half, that's a new low. Uh, this is getting to kind of be uh, predictive, right? Sept, uh, SEP's had a decent range, too, over there, about 22 cents. Now let's go to the D. That's down 4.5 cents to 8.43, and that is a new low. And again, another range, about 19, 20 cent range there. So that's going to be the spring wheat for you in Minneapolis. If we take a look at the cotton, what do we have going on in the cotton? Well, that's uh, nothing. One point higher in D. 84.71 as we're quietly limping into the weekend, and now it just ticked lower by one point to 84.69. All right, let's bring in our next guest uh, analyst. It's going to be Todd Horowitz. Baba Trading in, I think he's in Las Vegas. He is, there he is. He's got that art collection. Um, thank you very much for taking the time here on a busy Friday. Uh, and there's a lot going on. Um, we're higher on the day, but it, somehow it feels disappointing in some things. What are your thoughts? It's no bueno. It, it's, no this bueno. Is like a, a race, it's like a racehorse. It's peggering in the stretch, trying to get to the finish line. And I mean, we were overnight. It looked like they were going to be up big. And this morning, I think wheat was up about 22 cents and, uh, and corn was up about nine or 10 or 11. And all of a sudden, here we are limping into the finish line. They just don't look good. I mean, you know, there, there's not a lot of good news out there on the economy side to, to make people want to buy. And look at the equities. They, they're flying higher. on you know, a jobs number, I guess, that they assume that the Fed's done hiking rates now. So I listen. Doesn't look very good. I, I don't have a great direction. I, I still believe that they have to go higher. Otherwise, there's going to be a sh they're, they're not going to get done because these costs are going to be the inputs are going to be higher than the output, which is not a, is not good either. Yeah, well, and it's 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 almost a psychological thing. I mentioned a, a few segments ago. You know, if you want to buy it, I mean, you have to kind of think to yourself, what's going to make the next person behind me buy it, right? I mean, what what impetus is going to be there? And, Right now, a lot of folks can't see that. We've been down seven or eight days in a row in corn, and they're worried it's going to happen again, and it's been kind of quiet out there. And I, that Russia-Ukraine thing, for some reason, has gone to the back pages. It's still, yes, we got some action out of it overnight, but it's been really discounted. So maybe, you know, the weather is really putting a damper on things. Who knows? But I tell you, I agree with you. This is really trading. Psychologically, it's not trading good. It's almost trading like people think, here we go again. A hundred percent, Scott. Hey, listen, it's ugly. I mean, there's not enough action. And that's the other side of the, the coin. There's not enough trade, right? We don't have enough volume. We don't have enough liquidity right now to really continue to drive these things. And you, you, they, they get them bit up, and then suddenly the, a big fund will come in and just pop down. And it doesn't take much energy from them to push them lower. Yeah, I agree. All right. 
Stay right there. We're going to, we're going to take a quick break. We're going to come back and talk more livestock with Todd Bubba Horowitz, Bubba Trading in Las Vegas. We'll be right back after this. All right, let's take a look at the livestock. That's what you came back for the second half for, right? Let's, uh, our four-legged friends, some of them furry, some of them not, but they're all four-legged. That's meats and the proteins. Let's talk about live cattle for a second here. That's having a decent day, right? October's up a buck 82 to 183.12. 183.72 is the high, so we're about 60 cents off of the highs. And we've had about what, a $2.40, cent, two and a half buck range? So not bad. Uh, let's go to the D sets up a buck 60. Uh, 187.15 is last there. And again, about 55 points from the high on the day in D. All right, that's live cattle. We'll give that a nice, decent passing grade. Uh, here we go with feeders. They're taking off a little bit today, not as far as uh, corn still being higher in the day, but it's definitely come off. And maybe that's what the, this one's got a little bit of juice. Uh, let's talk about September feeder cattle. That's up $2.20, 253.85, 30 cents from the highs. All right, and we've had a decent range over there today. Oh, three dollars just over, uh, and then they go back to the Nove. Bring it back here to two dollars and twenty-two cents higher there, and Nove feeder cattle two fifty-six thirty-five is last, and that's forty cents from the highs as well. All right, so those two boards, I guess we're going to say, are pretty good going into the weekend. See if we can make it three for three, and we can. October's up a buck thirty in lean hogs, eighty-three thirty-five is last, fifteen cents from the highs. I'm going to stop right there while all things are still good and bring our, neck, our, our guest analyst who's been so patiently waiting in the wings, bring him back on. All right, Mr. Horowitz, what, uh, what tickles your fancy when we take a look at these livestock prices? Next time I'm going to change, I can be your next year new yeah, guest. Right. But, you know, Scott, it, I, I think they're, they're very fairly priced. They're probably a little bit overpriced in cattle. Uh, I think hogs are going down. Just look at the curve. But, you know, again, who can tell? with these, the lack of liquidity and the lack of action in the markets in general. We know that the issues that exist in cattle, which is why they're higher, uh, and we don't know exactly how long it's going to take to get replenished, but uh, you know, I don't know how much longer the consumer is going to be able to afford to, to, to carry these things or buy steak. I mean, right. look at the price of crude oil is going to be this weekend. I know, and I'm, I've been saying, I think, you know, we had global commodity prices tick a little higher the, for the first time in seven months last month, and we had the Bloomberg Commodity Index was up 3 or 5% last month as well. Tack on, you know, look at what's happening to everybody that's got to put gas in their car, uh, food and fuel. Uh, could we see the Fed move again or at least stay higher for longer because of what we've got coming down the pipe here? I think they're going to have to, Scott. I, I do believe they're going higher anyways, even though that's not what the, is the, the common thesis here. But um, they haven't slowed inflation down much at all, if you want to talk about that. And, of course, you and I both know that you don't slow the, infl the, the rate down, by the inflation by, by raising rates. They've done this totally backwards and, 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 and in the most possible pain for American consumers. Well, I'm going to go on a good note. I'm going to let you go with this. But uh, we've had a couple of analysts come on already today saying that maybe, just maybe, we're seeing some of this uh, buying action in the commodities for uh, that reinflation trade. So maybe that'll, that, that could help you out down the line. That'll fit in nicely with your, your thesis. Appreciate let's you coming. Let's hope so, and let's <laughs> ever have a good weekend. I didn't mean right. to be negative. No, that's <laughs> all right. Uh, thanks for everything. Todd Horowitz, Bubba Trading in Las Vegas. Bring it back here to Nashville. I'll hand it back to you.